Right, so here's a good example of how the fence line looked prior to when we were starting to run the stays. And you can see where it's just regular wire, electric wire, or a regular wire, we don't have electric wire along here, um, without stays. And so we're gonna be, hi JC, we're gonna be running the stays along here, so I'm gonna show everyone how that's done. We use a screw, dr well a drill with a drill bit. So um, Eric's getting that set up and then we'll show you how it's done. Hi JC. So this is kind of the <laughs> enclosed part of the property where our cows run. And you can see it's pretty overgrown. They have a lot to work on. Um, we've had some branches and trees that came down during the freeze. So we're gonna need to come in and thin those out as well. But Eric's getting up to that fence line so we can run some stays. This is our most urgent project and then we'll get out here and thin things a bit. Believe it or not, it's thinned quite a bit since we initially moved here simply because of the cows helping to thin things out. Hi girls. And they're just curious what we're doing, wanting to check it out and watch us. This is actually one of my favorite places to be on the property. Um, sometimes I, well, not that I have a ton of free time on my hands, I like to come out and just sit out here, um, enjoy the nature. Reminds me a lot of working at camp when I was a teenager. Um, it's kind of the peaceful getaway and I, I just love being up here. <laughs> it's usually peaceful when the cow is not carrying on. She's, she's a noisy girl. All right. So Eric's going to show us how this is. So. There are tools that they make for the purpose of running stays, but we have discovered that just a drill with a drill bit works pretty well. You have to kind of line it up over the existing fencing wire. And you can select spacing if you want. So I go a little bit past and then... <coughs> so this helps to there. keep those um, individual lines of the fencing separated and evened out. So hopefully then the cows can't squeeze in between. And as you see, he'll just put that drill bit on there. And he runs it down and lines it up. And it's pretty quick and easy once you get them going. And it runs it right down through. And then it, it strengthens the fence line. Fix so all of that area on the other side of the fence line is also our property. We haven't done anything with it yet. Um, gets away from us at times. There's a lot to do and a lot of work to be done. Uh, ideally, we're going to get this section over here uh, fenced off as well so we could have uh, individual pastures for the cows. And sectioning off the, the pasture that the cows are right in right now uh, if we had a way of running fencing through the middle, which we just haven't had the time for, um, we would like to do so that we can, again, pasture rotation, uh, run them in between. So, as you can tell, they're pretty curious. They like hanging out with us. So, once we get these fencing stays in, I'm hoping we can get Jenny moved back up here. Um, be nice to have her in with the other girls. So, I'm going to log off for a bit so that I can help Eric help run these fencing um, panels. It's easier to have two people kind of spotting the bottom portion. You can see again where he's running that second one. But we'll get these stays run and hopefully um, tighten up this end of the fence lane so that uh, Jenny won't be able to get out and Miss JC over here who's become our <laughs> escape artist and is complaining about it because she likes to be able to get out. Um, I don't know how much longer we're going to have JC. She is the Dexter that's owned by our neighbor. And we'll eventually probably go into the freezer. But um, she's not ours. Um, she's just hanging out here. And we are looking forward to getting more Highlands. Um, we're going to stick with the Highland breed. Definitely the breed for us. You'll notice they're a little more quiet than the, than the Dexter. Um, Jenny or sorry, uh, Juno is, was our first cow and we got her, um, 
we got to go visit her as a as a youngster uh, before she was ready to be placed. And I think she was uh, about nine months when we got her. Um, and you'll notice her horn is a little abnormal. She got her horn hooked up on something when she was young. And it kind of ripped off the outer part of it. So when it grew back in, it didn't grow back in straight. And that was before we got her. Um, oh, look at that. She's getting molasses on my sweatshirt. Um, <laughs> there's molasses in that uh, supplement tub. And it's quite sweet. Okay, back up, girl. Um, so she has kind of wonky horns. They're not perfectly straight. And Jenny, or uh, Jade's horns are a little off as well. I don't know why. They're not exactly straight either. Jay, Jenny's, the, the one that's up by the goats is the one that's got the most beautiful horns. Um, when it comes to looks, Jenny's our looker. Jade is our most red girl. She's very dark in color. She's really pretty. So, And then um, Juno's actually considered a brindle her dad is very brindle and her mom is as well so her coloring is actually considered brindle even though there's more um red on her than anything so 